the government is with regards to regulation activation and let's take a look at more on that. In the month of January, smallholder farmers delivered 150.5 million kilos of green tea, marking the highest monthly delivery ever. This was due to favorable rains. With the global tea volumes on the increase, prices at the Mombasa tea auction are reducing due to oversupply. From June 2019 to January 2020, a kilo of tea fetched $2.21 compared to $2.58 in a similar period a year before. Even though tea from KTDA factories fetched better prices, they still experienced a 4.8% drop in prices. For farmers, tea prices fluctuations are a big concern. Yeah, the, the highest in 2014 was 68 shillings. Uh, the other day, the last year, uh, for Shinga, it was about uh, 30, 38 uh, or 44, if I'm not, uh, 46, 41, if I'm not so long. So you see that that, that uh, fluctuation is, is, is so high. And if that can be stabilized, I will still vouch for farmers to keep uh, doing tea farming. In order to have a competitive product, KTDA is training farmers on how to produce high quality tea. And where we had challenges uh, in some factories, we saw quality improve. And that also translated to better prices uh, in the market during that period. So we are saying we are continuing with this program. We would want all the farmers to go through FFS training because apart from training you on tea matters, we are also training you on diversification. On the legislative end, the tea bill, which is on the National Assembly, proposes measures that will alter tea business in the country, including the re-establishment of the Tea Board of Kenya. And we know through the Tea Board of Kenya, uh, we are going to uh, work closely with uh, KTDA to ensure that uh, tea yields, to ensure uh, tea uh, management is in top notch at our farmers. Uh, will, uh, will leap from their hard work. With global competition on the rise, farmers have been urged to diversify their products to have competitive edge in the market. Noah Kipkenboy, KTN Business. All right, that was Noah Kipkenboy, of course, talking about tea, which was one of Kenya's top exports and contributors to GDP. But that trend is under threat because the crop is delivering dwindling returns to farmers. So he's talking about the bid to 